What if you could hold a supercomputer in your hands? Seriously, today we're diving into a piece of hardware that promises to do just that. It's called the NVIDIA DGX Spark, and it's putting a totally unprecedented amount of AI power right on the developer's desk. NVIDIA themselves put it best, a petaflop of performance in a box that fits on a desk. And that one sentence, man, it just perfectly captures the whole ambition here, shrinking an insane amount of computational power into a package you can literally place right next to your monitor. Now, this wasn't your typical product launch or press release. No, the story of the DGX Spark kicks off with a moment that feels straight out of a movie. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang personally flew down to Texas to hand deliver the very first unit to Elon Musk at the Starbase rocket facility of all places, a supercomputer delivered to a rocket scientist. The symbolism there was totally intentional and pretty powerful. And that symbolism, well, it runs pretty deep. Because to really get why this little box is such a massive deal, you have to know that this isn't the first time this exact handoff has happened. Just look at this. Back in 2016, Jensen Huang made a similar delivery to Musk's team, the first ever DGX-1. But that thing was a monster, a massive server rack-sized machine. Now, fast forward less than a decade, and he's delivering comparable power in a box you could toss in a backpack. This one image says everything you need to know about the incredible breakneck acceleration of AI hardware. So, okay, beyond the symbolism and the cool backstory, what is actually inside this box? Let's pop the hood and take a look. At its core, this is a purpose-built machine for the people on the front lines of AI, the coders, the researchers, the creators. The whole idea is to completely eliminate the bottleneck of the data center, putting all the necessary power directly at their fingertips. And then you see the price tag. I mean, when you hear the word supercomputer, your brain immediately jumps to millions of dollars, right? But the DGX Spark is coming in at just under 4,000 bucks. Think about that. For less than the price of some high-end gaming PCs, this makes world-class AI power accessible to individual developers, small startups, and university labs. It's a game changer. Okay, so we know it's compact and it's accessible, but can it really deliver on that supercomputer performance promise? Let's dive into the specs and see what makes this thing tick. So at its heart is the brand new NVIDIA Grace Blackwell architecture that's paired with a massive 128 gigs of unified memory, which is absolutely crucial for juggling huge AI models and a blazing fast four terabyte drive. And the dimensions are just wild. It's barely the size of a small book. The engineering that went into this is just incredible. And this really gets to the core philosophy here. It's all about freeing AI development from the chains of the data center. No more scheduling time on a remote server. No more dealing with latency. The power is local, it's instant, and it's always available. And this, this is the headline number. One petaflop of AI performance. That is a staggering amount of computational power, especially for a device this small. But what does that number actually mean? A petaflop is one of those numbers that's just kind of hard to wrap your head around. It means this machine can perform one quadrillion, that's a thousand trillion, calculations every single second. Having that kind of speed just sitting on your desk isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete paradigm shift for how AI can even be developed. So, we have the power, we've got the specs, but what does that mean for the daily life of an AI developer? How does this little box actually change their workflow? This right here captures the before and after perfectly. On one side, you've got the old way, the frustration of competing for shared servers, dealing with complex remote setups, and just waiting. On the other side, a clean, dedicated plug and play system. With the entire NVIDIA AI stack ready to go right out of the box, the cycle of testing an idea and iterating on it becomes almost instantaneous. This thing empowers the developer to manage the entire AI lifecycle right from their desk. They can instantly prototype new ideas. They can take powerful, pre-trained models, we're talking up to 70 billion parameters, and fine-tune them for specific jobs. And they can even run inference on today's massive, state-of-the-art models. It's a complete end-to-end -to -end toolkit. And hey, this is already having a huge impact in the real world. Professor King Hyun Cho at NYU put it perfectly. He said that having access to petascale computing on the desktop enables a completely new, much faster way to conduct research. It unlocks rapid prototyping that was simply out of reach for most academic researchers until now. So we've covered the tech and the workflow, but now let's zoom out. Why is this little box so much more than just a new piece of hardware? 
what does it really mean for the future of AI itself? First off, just look at the early adopters. This isn't some niche product. The biggest names in tech, Google, Meta, Microsoft, are all on board. And so are the essential platforms that developers rely on every single day, like Hugging Face and Docker. This signals that the entire AI ecosystem is getting behind this new form factor in a big way. But this goes way beyond just industry partnerships. For years, cutting-edge AI has been the domain of a few giant corporations with the money to build massive data centers. The DGX Spark fundamentally challenges that. This is about the democratization of AI, putting the tools of creation into the hands of more people than ever before. And this leaves us with a really powerful question. By dramatically lowering the barrier to entry, NVIDIA isn't just selling a box, they're changing the whole landscape of innovation. So when a supercomputer fits on a desk, who gets to build the future? The answer is, for the first time, it could be almost anyone.